take that position. Yeah, but baby, I it, when we got it's, married, I, it's okay. Um, I said, I've got I a friend that that, and I thought I'd ask them to come out and help me. Yeah, but baby, I it, when we got married, I, it, and I thought I'd ask them to come out and help me. Where did I meet you? Oh, first time we met. Memphis. Where? At a comedy club. Okay. How did we meet? Tell them. Tell them exactly how we met. Tell them first thing I said to you. Tell them how we met. I was late. You were late. Came to a comedy club. He finally realized, okay, I gotta say something. Oh, I'm sorry. Marjorie, a woman whose name has become synonymous with elegance and style, is the wife of the renowned television personality, Steve Harvey. She has often been seen by the public side, exuding grace and charm, but it seems like there is more to her story than meets the eye. In a surprising turn of events that happened recently, the classy wife of well-known television personality Steve Harvey is now caught up in a heated family conflict. This dispute has the potential to break apart their once close, blended family. Just when it seemed like things couldn't get worse, Marjorie is now dealing with new difficulties arising from her ex-husband's book that exposes her troubled history. This book has sparked much controversy and gathered even more critics. However, the ongoing turmoil has entered a fresh phase as Marjorie now faces accusations of being unfaithful, a revelation that has caused shockwaves throughout the entertainment industry. While she was building her image, Marjorie's path was interrupted by some concerning undisclosed facts and a controversial past. In her early marriage when she was 18, Marjorie's life intersected with a person 14 years her senior. However, there's a surprising turn in this tale. The man named Jim was already married and Marjorie had no idea about Jim's existing wife. Driven by her intense emotions and impulsive nature, Marjorie took a drastic step. She decided to stop taking birth control pills and purposely became pregnant. This man has never been in the same room with you. Period. That's what he but called. called you a punk ass. Yeah, that's what he told Jason. I mean, you do look better than him. Huh? I think so too. She planned to push Jim into leaving his current wife and it surprisingly worked. Jim eventually left his wife. This led the couple to embark on a journey of marriage after a three-year courtship. However, their marital happiness lasted for only around seven years, with almost three of those years spent as husband and wife. After their relationship went through ups and downs, her ex-husband was surprised to receive an unexpected conviction in the future, catching everyone off guard. Later, both Marjorie and the accused drug kingpin Jim L. Townsend found themselves in the spot spotlight of the FBI and DEA's attention. Jim, who is already facing charges linked to his attempt to obtain 40 kilograms of a controlled substance, received word that Marjorie was also a person of interest. In response, he struck an agreement with the DEA, opting to shoulder the consequences on his own. Initially handed a life sentence, he ultimately served 26 years behind bars after receiving a pardon from then-President Barack Obama. Without the pardon, his fate might have been imprisonment for life. 27. 27 years in prison. You were given 28, really, if you, if you... As we delve into Steve's eventful journey, he entered matrimony with his first spouse, Marcy, back in 1980. In due course, their twin daughters, Carly and Brandy, came into the world. During a certain time, Steve had trouble figuring out who he was while working in insurance. Later, he tried doing comedy, and when he found success, he decided to leave his insurance job and pursue a comedy career. Unfortunately, Steve's relationship with Marsha had problems, and they eventually got divorced in 1994. It's said that Steve started a relationship with his second wife, Mary Shackelford, while he was still getting divorced from Marsha. As time went on, problems in Steve and Mary's relationship became clear, with rumors that Steve was being unfaithful. Despite these difficulties, Mary confronted the situation and accused Steve of being unfaithful and mistreating her. At the same time, Steve and Marjorie first met in 1990 during one of his comedy shows in Memphis, Tennessee. They became closer over time and got married in 2007. Before she got married to Steve Harvey, we talked. And she told me, she said, Jimmy, she said, uh, she said, Jimmy, you know what, Steve, he's, he's so much like my dad, you know. However, their marriage didn't last long and they separated after a few weeks. Marjorie knew Steve was the right person for her early on, but he pulled away because of money problems and his commitment to his career. He felt that a man needed to understand himself, his work, and his potential income before being a good partner. A decade later, in 2005, Steve and Marjorie reconnected. Steve had ended his previous marriage to Mary Shackelford and his comedy show The Steve Harvey Show had finished filming. 
The reason he distanced himself from Marjorie initially was because of his complicated previous marriage. Amid all these events involving Jim and Marjorie, she started a new chapter in her life with a new partner who happened to be Jim's cousin, Darnell Woods. They had a daughter named Lori, which brought them even closer. It was surprising to many when it was revealed that Darnell was connected to the drug trade as Townsend's cousin. However, he got in trouble with the law and ended up in prison. Marjorie went through another divorce and finished the process in 2001. In a surprising twist that has caused a lot of attention in the entertainment world, there are rumors that Mar Marjorie Harvey, who is Steve Harvey's partner, might be in a relationship with Steve's protector, William Big Boom Freeman. In case you're not familiar with him, an investigation by Radar Online has uncovered unsettling information about Freeman's past. It turns out that Freeman, who serves as Harvey's trusted aide, has a troubling history as a former person involved in arranging activities, and he openly admits to mistreating women. Theo Epstein, rudest, rudest human being I've ever come across. Okay. Treated his PR person like garbage in front of him. In his biography on his website, Freeman honestly talks about how he used to exploit women to feel in control and confident when he was involved in those activities. He says he has changed a lot since then and now presents himself as a respected speaker, author, and well-known celebrity bodyguard. Freeman's biography highlights how he's skilled at providing both obvious and subtle protection to famous clients based on the level of threat or potential danger. The unexpected revelation of a potential romantic involvement between Marjorie Harvey and William Big Boom Freeman has sparked considerable conversation. Speculation abounds regarding the true strength of Marjorie's marital bond and the authenticity of her seemingly flawless blended family. Don't let hey, don't saying. let this segment mess our marriage. Let's first say that. You should. As the connection between Marjorie and Big Boom began to wane, the ongoing turmoil between Steve Harvey and his former spouse Mary appeared to be subsiding. However, just when it seemed that their heated disputes were ameliorating, they resurged with even greater intensity. Despite Steve's transition from Mary to his current wife Marjorie, the animosity between Steve and Mary remains palpable. Mary made no effort to suppress the dissemination of this information. Mary has persistently asserted that Steve was disloyal, abusive, and self-centered during their tumultuous marriage. In response, Steve vehemently defended himself by suing Mary, alleging that she obstructed his plans for a talk show. Window mm -hmm. of the divorce, mm -hmm. so obviously taking me all this time. Mary, however, did not remain silent. She turned to YouTube to present her perspective on Steve's wrongdoings. Within her videos, she provided text messages as evidence of a lengthy involvement between Marjorie and Steve. Mary claimed that Steve left her in financial distress while lavishing expensive gifts upon Marjorie. While Steve showered Marjorie with opulent luxuries, it is suspected that she may have been plotting to betray him and attract attention. Despite the appearance of a conventional family, whispers of underlying issues have taken root. An insider recently disclosed to radar online that tensions have surfaced within the Harvey household. The conjecture centers around Marjorie's preoccupation with crafting a picture-perfect marriage for Lori and showcasing her to the public. This focus may be contributing to difficulties with her other children. Some individuals speculate that Marjorie's motivations could be driven by financial gains. Currently, Marjorie is savoring the realization of her dreams, transitioning from being the partner of a well-known drug dealer to gracing the red carpet at the Grammy Awards and participating participating in the opening ceremonies of various NGOs. Without a doubt, Marjorie has achieved her ambitions and has emerged with a seemingly unblemished reputation. A user wrote online, The part that got me was how when he went to jail, Marjorie started dating his cousin and had Lori Harvey with his cousin, who also was a kingpin drug dealer and later